Hey guys, Uncle Steph here. How you doing? So, what is the number one problem that people have when trying to succeed as a developer in their career? Just about everything in life. It's not intellectual. It is not intellectual. From what I've seen, the biggest problem people have is psychological. So chances are, if you're watching this video, like there's a 99.9% .9 chance that you're watching this video, have more than enough mental capability to be able to succeed in whatever it is you want to do. The biggest hurdle people have, again, to reiterate, is psychological, it's insecurities, it's imposter syndrome, it's laziness, it's fear of failure. These are so, so common. That's why a couple of years ago, I put out a course called Lizard Wizard, which helps you to understand the mechanisms behind your emotional brain, your lizard brain. I call it lizard wizard because once you understand how your lizard brain works and you and you apply practical skills, you unlock your full potential. The lizard brain is very powerful, but most people are running around not understanding how it works, what are the mechanisms of the lizard brain. Because of our advanced society and culture, you have to learn how to work with it uh, a little bit more than you would have you know, 100,000 years ago when we lived in the woods. You see, the lizard brain, without going down this rabbit hole too much, evolved over hundreds of thousands of years during very primitive times, not when we had computers and smartphones. So the lizard brain, though very effective, it's always trying to protect you, it can get you in trouble. So you can start having anxiety about exams, anxiety about failing uh, when you know writing a piece of code and worry that it doesn't work and having kittens over that. This is a, a byproduct, an artifact, uh, a glitch, if you will, uh, based on programming that was developed before any of this was around. So you have to, in a nutshell, learn to get past that. Learn to get past that. If you're broke, big part of it is probably because your lizard brain is out of control. If you have anxieties, it's just your lizard brain. As I've said in many videos, think of all the times in your life where you had some fear about something, some anxiety about something that could happen, it happens to me, and then nothing happens. That is our lizard brain out of control, not yet fully adapted to the environment, the modern environment that we're in. So the point of this video is to encourage you to help you understand that your emotions, your fears, your anxieties, your uh, imposter syndrome, et cetera, and so on, they're all just, they're all just byproducts of your lizard brain that, that is not perfectly adapted to the environment. So there, there, there are things you can do. You can learn to calm down, first of all. There's an old, uh, I don't know if you call it an expression or something, but we used to say, if you get angry, count to 10. Why counting to 10? Because it distracts your lizard brain, slows you down, calms you down, and uh, so you won't make rash decisions about uh, anything. That's the worst thing you can do. Don't make decisions based on emotion. Most of the time, that's going to get you in trouble. So one of the things you can do to get a hold of your lizard emotions is to uh, work out. Believe it or not, training, working out on a regular basis is going to help in that regard. There's no question about that. Another thing you can do is expose yourself to new stimulus, new environments, uh, visit a different town, go, go to even to a different restaurant you haven't be, been before. You want to try new things. You want to explore new things. So in the, in the world of software development, try learning a new language. Uh, try a new database. Um, don't be worried about making mistakes. As I say, when you're learning how to code, one of the tips I give in terms of accelerating the process of learning to code, one of the tips that I give is that you should uh, break your, your code. Once you get the code working, break it. See what happens. Look at the error messages. First of all, this is going to teach you more about coding uh, in terms of the logical structures of the code. When you purposefully break it at a particular point and you see the error is generated, this is going to help you put two and two together. You're going to figure out, oh, if I get this type of error, it's probably because of this type of mistake in my code. The secondary impact of that is that you are training your lizard brain to realize that if you make an error writing code, it's not the end of the world. It's no big deal. So last week in the uh, mentoring group meetings, we have our bi-weekly coaching sessions. 
links below. Uh, we had somebody who had a whole bunch of projects in mind. So she's capable, she can write code, she can build apps now with, uh, what was she using? I think she was using React. She knows React, knows a bit of Rails, and she's learning Laravel. So she was telling the group, and we have group chats. So she was telling us, oh, Steph, well, she wasn't exact. She was actually quite calm. But she said, Steph, you know, I have all these, I have, did, I have these different ideas I would like to explore, but mm, she was a little worried um, about just whether the outcome would be positive or not. That's the opposite attitude you have to have when you are an exploratory developer, an entrepreneurial developer. You have to embrace the process of trying to build an app trying to create a web app, a SaaS product, whatever it is, and not worry about whether or not it's going to work. That's why I say when you're building new apps from scratch, you should build them as quickly as possible. Don't worry about writing rock solid code because you're probably going to have to change things if it has any success. So why waste your time writing super solid uh, bulletproof code that takes a lot more time than you have to tear it all apart anyway. So just get it out. So I told her, you gotta, it's great you have these great ideas. Put them out. Put them out. See what happens, you know. And uh, it doesn't matter if they mess up. Even if you put in 50 hours, 100 hours to get a prototype out, 200 hours, 500 hours to get a prototype out, and it doesn't work as a business model, people are just not interested, it's not a failure because you are, first of all, you're going to be learning a lot along the way, which is always valuable. And second of all, you're going to be eliminating options and variables, which eventually will lead you to, uh, to a place that's successful. I have tried many different app ideas, many different business ideas. Throw them out quickly. As they say in the VC world, the venture capital world, fail quickly. Fail quickly. You don't want to spend uh, you know, years on a project to only find out that it's going to fail. You want it to fail as soon as possible, within months if possible. So if it fails, great. This is not working here. This is, I, did, I did this wrong here. Move on to the next thing. So yeah. And that, again, all goes back to the original premise of this video. Why? What is the number one people, people have is not intellectual. It's, uh, it's all psychological. It's all lizard brain. So I'll leave you with this last tip. Remember. Remember all the things that you thought would go wrong and never did. So don't sweat it. Okay, one last tip. You know, one of the reasons we are like this is because of the educational system. You know how it is with schools. If you fail particular tests, you fail a particular class, it can have a detrimental impact in terms of your entire career. This, to me, as somebody who's been involved in education pretty, uh, pretty closely for 14 years now, uh, this, to me, is stupid. The most successful people try something, fail, try again, fail, try again, fail, try again, fail. Ah, then they get it. And the problem with the school system is over whatever it is, two decades approximately, depending how far you go, you are literally trained to the core to fear making a mistake because the cost of that mistake is, could be pretty substantial in the school system. In real life, if, you, uh, you know, if you're smart about how you proceed, you don't want to do stupid stuff like jumping off a cliff or something. But you know, if you're smart about what you do, yeah, little mistakes are just part of the process. No big deal. One of uh, my mentors, accidental mentors, back in the day when I was a young uh, entrepreneur, I remember coming into a meeting with him, and he ran a very big company. It was worth about $50 million in that money. And uh, he asked me, he said, so, he said, he said, Steph, Uncle Steph, he said. No, he said, actually, Cousin Steph. I was quite young then. He said, Cousin Steph, uh, have you ever gone bankrupt? I said, no. Taken aback, a little embarrassed, right? No. Me bankrupt? No. And he said, oh, I've been bankrupt a few times. Part of the game. Uh, I had another guy, he's worth even more. And he said the same thing pretty much. Businesses go bust. You got to roll with the punches. You got to throw out ideas. Things will work. Some things won't work. Uh, it's all about managing everything so that uh, you end up, keep, you keep on making progress towards your goals. So there you go. Don't let your lizard brain get in the way of where you want to go. Start learning to master it. Again, 
exercise, exposing yourself to new things, reminding yourself that when things don't work, that's okay because it's part of the process of getting to where you want to go. That's it for now. I'm Uncle Steph. I mentor people in software development, coding. I teach people how to freelance, how to start businesses, and so much more. You can check out UncleSteph.com. And, uh, man, that's about it. If you have any questions, any comments about this video, you know what to do. Comment below. And if you think this video is valuable, don't be afraid to share it with friends. If you don't like my video or you think my hair is too long, give me two thumbs down. Not one, but two thumbs down. And uh, that's it. Cheers.